Why does music touch us so deeply? That's the question that brought Daniel Levitin out of the recording studio and into the laboratory. But he's finding changes our sense of who we are as a species. If you look back, also there's this debate about whether music came first or language came first. And it seems pretty obvious to me if we look at our animal uh, cousins, if you look at um, the pan hoots of chimpanzees, the calls they make, I know that you've spoken to a number of primatologists in the past. Some of my best friends are bonobos. And, and a number of primates, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them happen to be human. <laughs> Uh, you look at humpback whales, uh, the vocalizations of many animal species are more music-like than they are language-like. And what I mean by that is they deal with relatively fixed repertoires that vary in pitch and in dynamics and rhythm, which is what music is. They're much closer to music than speech. So I think it would require, for someone to claim that speech arose first in humans before music, would require ignoring mounds of evidence uh, about how animals communicate. Which is deeply unscientific. Right, and, and it would require a kind of leap that suddenly we sort of set aside our musical inclinations, developed language, and then came back to music later.